Joe, how did it feel to be back out there? It felt good. It felt good. Uh, a little bit rusty. Uh, it took some time to get back in the flow, but uh, it was good getting a win. Joe, you feel yourself getting more increasingly more comfortable as the game went on from the first quarter to by the end of the game. Do you feel better just in that short span of time? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I was talking about being rusty, and as, as the game kept going, uh, you know, I just kept getting better, uh, getting to the line, helped a lot too. So, and the game started slowing down for me, um, but uh, my focus was really uh, defensively, uh, just by uh, the way we've we been playing and the way we were playing. So I felt like I had to, you know, uh, I, I don't think I had a black shot today, but uh, just being over, all over the place, helping my teammates, and uh, uh, I'm glad we got the win. Joe, Brad had said before the game that you played five on five yesterday for about 75 minutes. What did that tell you about where you were? You know, did it give you an indication that you could play as much as you did today and be as sharp as you were? Uh, yesterday, he basically told me that uh, I wasn't ready because yesterday, after every game, I was on the floor uh, crying for my life. Uh, uh, so I didn't think I was gonna come in and uh, you know play. Uh, the whole the whole, the goal of it of this game was basically he thought I could only play 24 minutes, uh, depending on my conditioning. And I I told him I was like let's just go with the flow of the game. And I'm glad we got a we got a chance to rest me at the end. What have the past couple of weeks been like for you watching from the sidelines? From, you know, from back home. Uh, it's been hard because uh, you want to be out there and uh, um, for for the people that know me, uh, you know, I hate uh, not playing. I always want to play and I always push to play. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, got to trust all these guys. And um, we, we've all done uh, a great job as far as getting me back on the court. Uh, taking a wider push, and uh, I'm sure uh, at some point uh, in these last 15 games, I'm going to miss a game just to like, make sure that I'm good to go for the playoffs. But uh, they've been doing a great job from the coaching staff to the medical staff to the front office, and uh, you know, it worked out pretty well, and uh, I, f- I feel better. Yeah, one, of the, one of the things that stands out from this win is in the fourth quarter when you got that and one, and you turn to the crowd and you say, I'm back. So h- how does that knee feel, and how confident are you? You just mentioned that you may have to miss a game here or there, but how confident are you that your knee is going to hold up for the rest of the regular season and into the postseason? Um, it's all about, I guess, load management. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say that is completely, you know, 100%, because as an NBA player, you you basically never 100%. Uh, everything is basically so, and you just got to push through it, uh, depending on the pain. And, uh, you know, I, f- I felt like at some point, uh, you know, after uh, the All-Star game, uh, I was fine, but at some point I just felt I was uncomfortable. Uh, and uh, and uh, we did some uh, uh, tests, and I'm glad everything was good. Uh, but it's just about, uh, you know, making sure that I'm pretty strong. And missing this past couple of games helped me a lot, uh, you know, getting in the gym, uh, getting stronger, and, uh, yeah. In regards to missing games, is it going to be like a back-to-back type situation? <laughs> like, are you clear to play in them yet? Uh, we haven't talked about it. Uh, I'm sure at some point they're going to want me to miss another game just to make sure that uh, delivered uh, me to the playoff uh, in great shape and healthy, uh, which I've been the whole season. Uh, and that was just unfortunate. Uh, but uh, you just gotta, you just gotta go with the flow. And if I feel great and uh, you know my body feels good, uh, I'm not missing anything. So, yeah. Now, was it anything? Was it anything about seeing your team lose three out of four games, or was this always? In your mind, your targeted return date to come back? No, he's a he's a bunch of things. Uh, you know, seeing uh, the Houston game or uh, the past couple of games. Uh, you know, he just you know we fighting for uh, the third seed over here. We fighting for home court advantage and. Uh, uh, I just felt like uh, this game was also really important, and uh, uh, and if you were, if you, 
if it was just for me to come back, play this game and miss a couple, uh, I would have been fine with it. But I just felt like I had to play this game uh, just, uh, just to make sure that we were in good position. I was going to ask you kind of the same thing, but like, if it wasn't such a big game today, do you think you might have sat out another game or two? Just I have no idea. It depends on how my body feels. Uh, you know, the past couple couple of days, uh, he's been, you know, with every workout, uh, he's been getting better. I've been feeling less pain. Um, and uh, we just go with the flow. And, uh, you know, before that, uh, everything I was doing, it was uh, kind of hurting me. Uh, so that's why there was really no reason. But the past couple of days uh, have been great. Um, you know, we brought in a lot of people that have been helping me from all over the place. So uh, it's been good. Joey, you said multiple times last year that when it came to medical decisions, you wanted to make sure that they were hearing your voice and that you had a say in the process. Do you feel like this year the communication is good between both sides of the medical staff is hearing you and that you're also listening to them at the same time? Oh, yeah, he's way better. Uh, uh, this year, he's all about working together. Last year, he kind of felt like I was kind of stuck where, uh, you know, I didn't want to be on mental restrictions or I wanted to play games and, you know, I was just forced not to play, I guess. Uh, this year, it's all about uh, working together. The uh, owners, the front office, uh, they've been doing a great job of it, just communicating. Uh, at at turn has, has been amazing. Uh, so it's all about uh, communication. And uh, they understand me. Uh, they understand that I got to play, uh, that I want to play. And uh, if I tell them that I, I don't, I'm good, I'm not, I want to play, they're going to let me play. But then again, uh, I, usually I don't go up to them, but I did go up to them and told them that uh, you know, I might need I might need a couple of games off, and we just got on it uh, and worked together. Joe, you're saying that the communication's been better since Elton. Oh yeah, over. yeah. Elton has been amazing. He's been doing a great job. Uh, you know, uh, that's a uh, that's a uh, I guess fresh air. Uh, brought in people all over the place to help out. What do you? What did you mean by that? And who's well, I got a I got a physical therapist out in New York. Uh, she's been working with, uh, with me for uh, the past two or three years. Uh, came and then uh, you know uh, three years ago I went to Aspital uh, where uh, you know I found uh, you know I was working with uh, this guy named Einer. And we brought him over here, and uh, he's been taking care of me every single day, uh, just making sure everything is good. And Kim, she's been amazing. And, you know, guys from the team, they've been doing a great job, and uh, I'm really thankful.